Hey, Tom Rabbit, I hope you got this for your recording. Hey, YouTube out there, Tom Rabbit likes to record these. Hey, Tom Rabbit. I didn't, was that question to me? No, I asked strong atheist. Okay, right. Oh. Why am I an atheist? Um, yep. Many, many different reasons. Um, If you compare um, atheism to, to the Bible or any religion for that ma matter, this is a lot more logical. Um, why are you so, why are you so freaking stupid? That's not very nice. I'm always respectful. No, you're just, you're just, so, you're just so dumb. There's nothing logical about an atheist worldview. Nothing. In, in my opinion, there definitely is. Oh, okay, good. What is it, what is it that is fundamental that will be your ultimate reference point so that you can discern what anything is? Oh, I already went over this so many times. I would hate to. What is it? My what is it that is fundamental and ultimate that is the source of what's possible and not possible? The source of what's possible and not possible uh, is uh, the. Uh, I would say the. Big and do me favor. And do me do me favor. Don't give me stupid answers. Even atheists know that that is a <laughs> that's that's a, that is a response that I should expect from a fourteen year old, not a man in his fifties. That's that's disrespectful. No, you're, you're not. You know, it's not disrespectful. No, listen, I'm very straightforward. I shoot from the hip. If you know what, I talk with you too many times. Okay, appealing to the Big Bang doesn't get you atheism. Do you understand? Do you know who William Lane Craig is? Yes, I know who he is. Okay, William Lane Craig appeals to the Big Bang in uh, to in part to justify using the Kalam cosmological argument. The Big Bang does not logically necessitate that what is fundamental in reality is not God. It certainly doesn't line up with the Bible. Being listen to, to, listen to me, listen ago. to me. What is my major criticism of you? I don't focus. You don't focus. What just came right out of your mouth is another example. You don't know how to focus. Questioning the Bible doesn't get you to atheism, sir. It's way, way different to look at the Bible. Listen, listen to me. Atheism. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm going to ask you a question, and I'm not trying to be mean, so I can be more patient. Have you ever been diagnosed ever in your entire lifetime with having any neurological, mental, or intellectual impairment? No, I know you asked this to all atheists. Okay, but actually, okay. No, I don't ask that to all atheists. I only ask it to a handful of people. I only ask it of a small handful of people that are so freaking stuck on stupid, it is shocking and bomb beyond belief that you do not have a neurological deficit. Now, listen and, to me carefully. I, I, listen to me carefully. Think, listen to me carefully. Like okay, I'll speak. kick you out again. Okay? Uh, listen to me carefully. Okay? okay? I can't. Criticizing the Bible won't get you to atheism. Do you understand that? Did not want to criticize the Bible, wanted to compare okay. it to atheism. Okay. You, 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 know, you know what? You know what? Listen to me. Wow, you are, you are so dumb as a human being. That's disrespectful. Now, listen to me. No, it's an observation. It, you, it, are it's you are it's dumb. You are dumb, sir. Not very listen dumb. to me. Listen to hey, me. Dark. Listen carefully. Hey, How is Just cursing and shouting at someone to play? Okay, you're muted. Listen to me. I'm listening. Attacking the Bible does not get you to atheism. Now, I want you to I establish... Attacking. Okay, okay. Over talk me again. Excuse me. Over talk me again. See what happens. Listen very carefully. Okay. Atheism is the position is that there is no God. What is fundamental, the source of all possibility is not God, is not a mind. Now, can you identify and defend with logical necessity what it is that is fundamental dictating all possibility? I could do it but i don't want to repeat myself i have done it before but, but you but you sit stating the big bang doesn't get you to what is fundamental it's you understand how perception. darth is right there right like he's no, he's not, he's this, not, is wrong not at all. this is not this is not controversial this is not 
complicated, okay? The Big Bang is simply an appeal that the time-space continuum started from something that was dense and then expanded. That's it. That doesn't get you that the ground of all existence is not God. Do you understand that for the umpteenth time? I understand what you're saying, but I respectfully disagree. Okay. You know what? I'm going to try one more time, and then I'm going to ban your ass from the server. Uh, I don't think that's okay. right. Okay. I've listen to me. Dumb. Good. You, you know, Listen to me. No, because you can't possibly be this dumb. You can't possibly be this dumb. I I respect Listen to me you. carefully. Believing yeah. that the universe expanded does not get you that there is no God. Do you understand? It doesn't net it 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 doesn't have logical necessity to it. Are we clear? I understand your perspective. Could God have created the universe through a big bang? It's certainly some people believe that, but it doesn't line up with the Bible. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, listen to me. We're not talking about the Bible! I was. Okay. You know what? We're not talking about the Bible. You know what? I get angry because you deliberately are not focusing. I'm doing my best, I promise. No, you. you're not. You're lying. Maybe my best. You're you're deceitful. Then you ha then you have to explain to yourself how, as a fifty year old man, you reason worse than an ADD kid who did not get his Ritalin. Now listen to me carefully. Appealing to the Big Bang cosmology does not logically necessitate that what is fundamental is not a mind, sir. Are we clear? doesn't seem to require a mind. Okay. Your position, it doesn't matter what seems to you. Your position that there is no God. How is it that there is no God? And don't repeat what you've said before. It's the least logical scenario. That is, that, 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 listen to me. The fact that it may be the lowest on your list, it doesn't follow that it's false. Some things are so extremely unlikely that they can okay, be. Okay, listen, out. listen. Well, okay, God. did I not show to you you cannot ap apply a probabilistic model to God because God is not a contingency? God, by definition, would exist necessarily. Whatever is fundamental and ultimate, whether it's personal or impersonal, will exist necessarily, but not contingently. Okay? Now, if if I if what is fundamental, okay, you know what? I'm done with you. You are you are you are just so too dumb for your own good. Right? Darth, I th I think I could have gotten somewhere with him. I've talked to him a couple of times, and I, I understand. Uh, I've talked I've talked with him more than a half a dozen times. This guy is either either he's a little troll, or he's seriously mentally impaired. He has he does not exercise. Focusing on the topic. Oh. He is a certifiable mental case, and I believe it's by choice. That's why I'm angry. I get angry when people lie to me, people who deliberately engage in deceptive verbal interactions. Okay? I made it very clear. I, I made it very clear to him. I made it crystal clear to him on more than six occasions. Appealing to the Big Bang doesn't logically necessitate that there is no God. No, yeah, you're absolutely right. And you've had more interaction with him, so I'll just concede to your, your knowledge of who he is. Yeah, this is, if, if this was my first time, I'd be far more patient. I've had it with this guy. Understood. This is guy is a server? broken, he is a broken record where he just, like Chatty Cathy, you know, pull the string, that, 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 that. He's did just the same the correct. Yes, I did. Okay. He's been warned over and over and over and over and over again. Okay. He refuses. He will not comply with focusing on what his interlocutor is saying to him. He doesn't have to agree at all times. Okay. But the little game that they, these people play is they're contrarians. They're contrarians to anything you say. He goes, 
Well, it's the least likely of choices. It doesn't follow because you decided that God is least likely, right? Now, here's the problem. Either what is fundamental is personal or not personal. How does it follow that one or the other is likely or unlikely? Are you talking to me? I'm talking to everybody. Oh, yeah. can you see? The, the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy has the, he, he, he chooses not to reason like an adult. He chooses to reason like a 14 year old. And if you're going to reason like a 14 year old, then you shouldn't be keep on coming back in here. And by the way, he's been kicked from the server four times and we keep on letting him back in. Oh, why does he keep, how does he keep getting back in? Because we don't ban them. You and the mod team? No. No, we're not banning them. The, po the okay. point is, okay, I can't imagine that he is fundamentally mentally impaired, neurologically. Like Jim? Like who? Jim, Mr. Batman. Uh, don't even bother to talk. Don't even go there. Okay. The, po the, point, the point is this. I've explained to him. You can't get that what is fundamental to reality is not a mind through the Big Bang. And then what he does is he, he changes subjects. And then when you confront him about that, he changes the subject. Yeah, and then when it. you confront that, he changes the subject. Okay? We, you know, I, I, I have a short fuse because I've been doing this for 10 years, right? And there are numerous occasions where people have seen me bending over backwards being patient. But when I start to detect that somebody is being dishonest with me, that they're being deceitful, then my patience starts to wane. Because don't lie to me, okay? I wasn't born yesterday. This is all these peop the people have got. You know, Parakeet was in here earlier. And he said kind of, you know, tongue in cheek, but seriously, that when they have no intellectual grounds to stand on, right, then they resort to uh, uh, number 107 of plan B, which the, is to play stupid. The 107 stratagems of plan B. The, one, the 107 stratagems of plan B, one of which is all of a the sudden they, they play like, what? What? What are you talking about? They start playing dumb. This is what this is this is what um, shallow Shannon Q. Ducklips did. What do you mean by this? What do you mean by that? It's a definitional game, and it's called stall, dodge, and delay. Run the clock out. You try to talk with these atheists, and you get one form of deception after another. Why? Why are they all the same? Because they're deceitful when it comes to the existence of God. They do not want there to be a God, so they collect all these cliches, platitudes, catchphrases, slogans, right, that they think have some intellect, uh, intellectual substance to it. And then when you show them that all of these things are substantive less they are vacuous upon analysis what do they do they start all over repeating the same thing all over again this is why i say the atheists that i encounter over the last 10 years for the most part with few exceptions are uh teenagers trapped in adult bodies this is how they reason if people weren't so transparently deceitful I wouldn't be so impatient with them. You know, don't lie to me. Don't don't urinate on my leg and tell me it's raining outside. We still ought to try to keep with the spirit of patience, though, right, Darth? Uh, yeah, I, I exercise enormous patience in here day in and day out. In regard to this person, I think we could safely say that Darth was patient here. He's had this exchange before. Even so, when I when I find myself acting in ways that maybe aren't completely in line with my Christian beliefs, no, you're, listen. Care. This is not me being selfish. 
This is righteous indignation. I'm fed up with these liars. Don't tell me you want to intellectually discuss atheism versus theism and then play your little deceptive little games of bait and switch, which is what they do. Bait and switch, bait and switch. This is not me being a loose cannon. I'm fed up with these people, and I'm going to let them know it. You see, they can't be truthful, because if they're truthful, then their atheism gets annihilated. And they don't want to give up that dead body. They're members of the Norman Bates Society. They love that dead body of atheism. 107 stratagems of diversion and deception. Plan B. Strong atheist, my foot. By the way, did you get that Tom Rabbit?